We're going to tempt fate this time around, a dance club called Fate, where a late citizen met an unlikely one. Check it out. Speedle's your partner for this case. I'm sure you two will get along great. Hey, I'm Tim Speedle. It's good to have some help on this case. Seems the FBI has an investigation underway involving this club, which means we're restricted to the murder scene. But they're not telling us much about it yet. Of course, our federal colleagues promise to keep us informed, but I just can't help feeling screwed. Enrique Sanchez? We're with the crime lab. Hasn't been any crime here that I know of, but hey, I like to keep you guys happy. Let me know what you need. I tend bar and take care of any troublemakers, you know, bounce their asses if need be, discreetly, of course. Yeah, oh, man, oh man, what a tragedy. Jack, he was a cool dude. Owned the place, you know. Hands-on kind of guy, but never a pain or nothing. Weird, huh? Light falling out of the rafters like that? Like something out of a movie. Hadn't seen him by the time I left, which was, oh, midnight? That was early for me to punch out, but what the hell's the point, you know? Place was dead. Sorry, poor choice of words. You kidding? He owned the place. Come and go as he pleased. I'm just a small fry, you dig? Pour drinks, bounce butts. Sure, but I guess you know you're supposed to stick to the dance floor, right? What is? The federales have been hanging around, making everybody's life miserable. Is something besides murder going down at this club, Mr. Sanchez? Who says it's murder? Anyway, like I said, I'll cooperate. This bolt could come from our drop stage light. Let's take the bolt in for analysis. It may tell us whether we have an accident or a murder. Shards of glass. If we put this puzzle back together, the mirror will reflect back on the angle that our victim was struck. Smashed disco light fell or was dropped. Jack Simmons, foul play or freak accident? My gut says the former, but the evidence, that'll give us the real answer. Blood, Jack Simmons blood, meaning it'll no doubt prove useful. Credit cards and cash missing. Could this have been a robbery? Let's find out if Enrique knows anything about the case situation. Hmm. Gum on his shoe. Looks like a powdery substance stuck to it. We'll need to run this strange residue through the computer. Hey. DNA scanned and waiting in the computer for you. What we have here is a microscopic single cell organism that grows and ferments, producing alcohol and carbon dioxide. Commonly known as yeast. This strain? Used in beer. I'll send it to the microscope so you can take a better look. 
Fate Club business card. I'll send it to the computer so you can do a search and get the details on this upstanding establishment. Where I come from, a bolt doesn't typically unscrew itself. Doesn't appear to be a manufacturing defect either. A tool and fasten this puppy. Find the tool, and I can match it to these impressions. Glass shards. Might be more to learn if this were in one piece. I'll lay him out on the assembly table behind me so you can put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Who says Disco is dead? But when you drop one of these babies on a human head, the music's gonna stop, all right. work. Judging by the shape of the fixture, assuming a straight fall, I'd estimate an angle of impact at 22 degrees from vertical. Wonder if that's consistent with our Vic's wound. We should also take a closer look at the new assembled lens evidence to see if there's anything more we can learn from it. Hey, a full fingerprint. Cool, I'll toss it into the computer for you, see if we get lucky. Great. What disco or bar on planet Earth isn't bathed in yeast from spilled beer? Lucky for us, this strain isn't so common. It's a European-style brew. It appears Jack incorporated two bars. Doesn't rule out silent partners, though. Let's check out this sports bar, too. The draft. What now? No prob. I'll send a crew out to pick up my new tenant. Based on a prelim analysis? Well, we have blunt force trauma to the skull. There's more than one laceration, so it's difficult to say which point of impact caused the fatality. Body temp indicates around 11 o'clock last night. I thought you'd never ask. You noticed that, did you? 
I found it odd, too. Not just the surface blood, but the liver mortis. Post-mortem internal blood pooling. Suggests our friend was on his back for some time after dying. And yet he was found on his stomach, which suggests he was flipped over at some point, or moved. And dead people don't move themselves. Please do. I'm sure he won't mind. Looks like Alex cleaned up that nasty head wound. Some interesting marks on our Vic's head under all that blood. What do you make of that gash over the Vic's cheek? Somehow he struck in the side of the head too, causing neural disruption and hemorrhaging. Interesting mark. Unique. You've made quite an impression. We need to know what caused this mark. The fatal wound causing lethal brain damage is the one above Jack's cheek, putting it around 35 degrees from vertical. If the reassembled mirrored ball suggests a 22-degree impact, then the falling light did not put the victim's lights out. They were already shut off. Hey, I said I'd cooperate. Just keep in mind, you know, my prints are bound to be all over this place. Because I'm all over this place. They say anything is possible, right? Only I don't see where anybody busted in. And if they did, they wouldn't get nothing. We usually don't leave any cash in the till overnight. Hey, 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 I said I'd help out, but what's with the questioning me about a murder that ain't a murder yet? You guys prove that light was dropped on my boss's cabeza and hell, I'll be your best buddy. Till then, I got work to do. Look, I got my hands full, the boss is dead, I got a club to run. You show me that Jack was murdered, I'm gonna do anything I can to help. But so far, this is an accident, and my time's valuable, you dig? I dig that your boss bought it after getting hit in the head. Only, it wasn't from a falling light. It's your classic hit alongside the head. If you don't start cooperating, how about we hit you up for a trip downtown? Whoa, Nelly! What's with the hostility all of a sudden? Jack's other place, the sports bar, is called Whiskey Stop. The draft was one of the other names him and his partner Ron was considering. You know, till they landed at Whiskey Stop. Ron is Ron. Ron Preston. He's got a big piece of this club too. Him and Jack split all the duties 50-50. But financially, Ron's half is his sports bar. You know, Whiskey Stop. Not around here, other side of town practically. Nice enough area, but they never built up the clientele they deserve. Ron's let the place get a little, you know, run down, but it's still got potential. You want the address? You know Enrique, Mr. Cooperation. Enemies, that's a harsh word, but Jack did get into a kind of, what, uh, shouting match with that broad, Nikki Winters. She was a waitress here, part-time, sometime trophy piece for Jack. Typical lover's quarrel, I guess, had words. Jack tossed her out on her tail, she threatened his ass and took off. You know how it goes. That's all we need here, for now. Excuse me, we're with the crime lab, we're looking for Ron Preston. He's downstairs right now, in the basement. Anything I can do you for? I'm your waitress, Nikki. Well, yeah, how did you know? 
I said we were at the crime lab. We haven't had a crime here. We're even strict about carting. There was a crime at your old club. Fate. Miss Winters, I'm afraid I have bad news for you. You were in a relationship with Jack Simmons? I used to be. And as far as bad news, Jack is bad news. Why? Miss Winters, Jack is dead. He was murdered last night. We need to ask you a few questions. Jack... Jack's dead? Murdered? No, no. Listen, I didn't mean anything by what I said. We just broke up recently, and I wouldn't wish that on... Could you give me a moment, please? After Jack fired me at fate, Ron sort of... took me in. Maybe that seems... I don't know, odd? I mean, since they were partners and all? Hey, didn't you ever get so mad at somebody who said I could just wring your neck or whatever? Jack was possessive and paranoid as hell, and he accused me of sleeping with Ron. I only threatened him after he physically threw me out of the bar. If I'd really wanted to get back at him, I could have filed an assault charge. What does that have to do with anything? Maybe you'd prefer to answer questions back at the station. Sometimes I think all men are jerks. Yeah. Yeah, I slap with Ron. Satisfied? Sometimes it gets real lively, and a tumbleweed blows through. Whiskey Stop hasn't been setting Miami on fire. Which sucks for a waitress, because without tips, I'm below poverty level. But things are looking up. We have a new microbrewery. In the basement? Ron's perfecting a recipe that'll have customers flooding the place. Which is why I'm still around. I'll show you. There's a door in our back room. Thanks, Miss Winters. Maybe we'll take a look around up here if you don't mind. Knock yourself out. Just because Jack was an SOP doesn't mean that I don't want to help you guys find his killer. Hmm. A virtual golf setup. Expensive little toy. Not that it seems to have helped business any. Trophy case. Looks like there's room for expansion. Now check out the bottom of the trophy. Does the emblem look familiar to you? Like maybe it made a real impression on our victim? Like his head? Blood on this trophy. Let's get it in for analysis. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. That's all we need here, for now. Guys, guys, sorry, but this is an employees only area. Head back on upstairs and tell Nikki I said to give you beers in the house. Thanks, but we're not customers. We're CSI. Investigating Jack Simmons' murder. You're Mr. Preston? Yeah, sorry about that. Some customers are curious about the new microbrewery. Glad to be of help, you know, where this awful thing about Jack is concerned. Listen, Nikki and Jack were an item, and I haven't said anything to her about it yet, so... We've already broken the news to Miss Winters. Now, would you mind answering a few questions about your late partner? Like I said... Anything to help. Fight? That's a little strong, isn't it? We were old friends and longtime partners. We got into it all the time. I mean, running two clubs with two owners, that takes finesse and patience, and sometimes you ran out of both, you know. First of all, we were arguing, not fighting. About what? 
What else? Money. Listen, this I would appreciate some discretion on, okay? But somebody had been embezzling from fate, and I had my suspicions about Jack, got it? But it t turns out Jack had his suspicions about me. Anyway, we put two and two together and came up with Enrique. Nikki? No way. Jack and I never fought over women, and certainly not Nikki. You saw her, she's a dish, but she's got the brains of a baseball. Again, discretion. I'm not proud of it, but we both slept with her, and kind of passed her around without her knowing it. Ten o'clock, maybe? He was going to confront Sanchez about the embezzling. I didn't want a thing to do with it. Sanchez was his employee, and that made it his problem. We didn't have any say over who the other guy hired, which is why Nikki still works here at Whiskey Stop. Oh, hell no. Jealous? I told you, she was a plaything for both of us. What Jack didn't like, what I don't like, is Nikki's other little hobby. Nose candy and an assortment of recreational drugs. Jack says she was dealing to keep up with her habit, and using fate as a venue. Beer. I'm creating a new test batch. This is a microbrewery. Hey, I said I'd help any way I could. Just stay shy of my brewing equipment. It's pricey, and I am very secretive about my recipes. Look to you like something was cleaned up here recently? Me too. From the looks of it, that valve will empty the canister. Without a warrant, we better keep our hands off. We don't want to see Ron's hard work go down the drain. Nice catch. We'll check the symbol against the impression from our Vic. We may have our murder weapon. A beer mug with some beer residue. Let's take it in and do some lab work on it. Sorry, nothing else for you now. What do you need? I'll get on it, but I can tell you now that our friend Enrique is a scofflaw, holds a small fortune in traffic violations. Let's impound his vehicle and see if we can find any dirt. There's a tool in here. Adjustable pliers. Wonder if we found that tool that loosened the stage light bolt. Something on the seat here? Body fluids in the back seat. Couple of possibilities come to mind. Hey, I think I'll let you swab this one. Well, our bouncer bartender is pretty flush. This isn't exactly tip money. Sealed bag of white powder, possibly cocaine. Let's see what the lab thinks. What's up? Print's been scanned. It's on the computer. Amplified and graphed that DNA, scanned it into the computer already. Go for it. 
That's ready for image enhancement and microscopy. DNA's amplified and graphed. What are you waiting for? Computer's got it. Computer. Hey, don't mention it. I'll send this to the image enhancement equipment. In the meantime, if you find anything that might have caused this mark, bring in another chunk of microsil and we'll compare them. Microsilled impression. I'll send that over to the microscope. Microsilled impression. I'll send that over to the microscope. You'll find a sample of that yeast under the microscope. Pliers. A little tool mark magic analysis and I can tell you if it matches the mark. So I did further analysis and, sorry, the pliers from the Sanchez card didn't make the marks on the bolt. $3,000 cash. Be nice to find that stuffed in a birthday card, huh? Bucking for a transfer to narcotics division, are we? Let's see what the computer has to say. The sample from the mug is a good quality yeast, but unfortunately we are looking for a lager-based yeast, not an ale. Looks like the sample we swapped from the floor in the microbrewery isn't the type of beer we're looking for. The beer from this mug matches the beer we swapped from the floor, which means that the yeast doesn't match what we lifted from the victim's shoe. Enrique handled this light all right. Prints are all over. We got a match on the print. Dinky winners. Bobby Bassey, heavyweight boxer, real animal who liked to hurt people in and out of the ring. One of the trophies from his amateur days. He died two years ago, so he's not much of a suspect. Got a match from a uh, university DNA research project sample. Human genome stuff, most likely. Can't picture Enrique being real interested in the progress of science. But sometimes, volunteers get paid. Stimulants like cocaine get absorbed in the bloodstream and block the reuptake of dopamine, which creates pleasurable effects in the brain. Hey, that car is my baby. Stains don't happen when I'm taking care of it. Who knows, after it was impounded, Seagull, maybe? Cocaine? I don't go near that stuff. That's what I get for cooperating, right? Unfair, unfounded accusations. That's all we need here, for now. Hey, man, I'm up for helping. What do you want to know about that? Hey, I clean that baby regularly along with the other lights. Like I clean that dance floor, that toilets. I mop up in there too. Just another perk from my generous employers. Hey man, I'm up for helping. 
What do you want to know about that? What are you talking about? Don't know nothing about that, bro. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Hey, man, I'm up for helping. What do you want to know about that? Don't know nothing about that, bro. Look, I don't think it's a good idea for me to answer any more of your questions. So I'm not going to unless you got a warrant in your back pocket. Don't know nothing about that, bro. That's what Ron's been saying. I don't know for sure, but I will tell you one thing. For a guy making crap money like he does, he sure has a nice car. And women to go with it. Can't help you on that one. Evidence is pointing a finger straight at Nikki Winters. The prints are all over these drugs. You think I've got a drug problem? Look, I'm no angel. I partied a bit in my day, but I've been clean for years. Years! You th think either Jack or Ron would put up with that? A druggy waitress? What, did Ron tell you that? Well, he's a damn liar, but he does know about drug problems, all right. His own. That's all we need here, for now. What do you want to know about that? Can't help you on that one. Hey, what do you need? Let's see, I'll look up the records. Nothing on Nikki, but Ron? <laughs> he got himself accused on drug trafficking. But the charges were dropped. Insufficient evidence. No, but I thought I already made that perfectly clear to you people. No, no kind of drugs. Check your own records. The charges were dropped. I already told you to look at Nikki. Do I stutter? She was fired from fate because of it. We're not getting anywhere fast. Let's see if Yelena has gotten the Sanchez bank statements yet. That's all we need here, for now. Can I help you out in this case? Bank just faxed over records showing Enrique transferring a considerable amount to an unknown account. The bank statement has the account numbers for both accounts involved in this transaction. You can take a printout of it. Yes? Set up a special link on the computer for that. Wow. There's almost 60 grand in this foreign account. Twice what our friendly neighborhood bartender makes in a year. Of course, Enrique might be hoarding tip money overseas to avoid taxes if he's been saving up his quarters for a decade or so. Otherwise, he was an embezzler like his employers suspected. Sorry, man. My memory's not too good lately about stuff like that. That's all we need here, for now. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Hey, what do you need? The evidence? 
Cash in his car, large mysterious bank transactions, indicates Enrique was embezzling. Let's bounce the bouncer into our world. What are you talking about? We came up with 3,000 in cash in your car and bank records showing you sending a whole lot of money overseas. Oh, you found us stuff, huh? Yeah. Well, okay, so I've been helping myself a little from the till. I mean, what the hell? I really run the place, but because I'm not one of their white bread yuppies, Jack and Ron, they stiff me. Just the bouncer, the bartender, and the glue that holds fate together, man. I never took one dime I didn't have coming. Confronted? He never confronted me. Weren't you listening when I told you? I never saw him last night. Or did you get into an argument with Jack, who figured out you'd been skimming? An argument that escalated. So you did your bouncer thing, hitting him alongside the head. Maybe you'd mean it to be a fatal blow, but it was one. First you emptied Jack's wallet, then you did your own special dance, Enrique. Staging an accident, putting the body under that light, clipping the supports, and crashing that ball into a dead man. I thought you were crime scene investigators. Sounds more like crime scene speculators to me, man. Don't know nothing about that, bro. That's all we need here, for now. Hey man, I'm up for helping. What do you want to know about that? That stuff wasn't mine, you gotta believe me, man. That's Nikki's powder. What I get for being a gentleman, you know? Just give her a ride home and the airhead leaves that package in my car and makes me look dirty. You think I'd leave that in my car if it was my stash? Hell, if I knew that stuff was there, I'd have flushed it. I mean, with the FBI sniffing around, damn. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Can't just yet. Try finding a strong linkage between suspect and crime scene. With this drug info, we'll have the FBI working with us. You've earned this warrant. Go explore the rest of your fate. Somebody left us a little bit of their genetic code on this tap. Blood. But is it our victim's blood? You know, murder may have been on tap around here. And this could be what made the odd cut in the Vic's head. Enrique's hobby is stealing from Jack Simmons. Why should Jack's death change anything? Lifting the cash from his dead boss's billfold and stuffing it into an envelope and sneaking it out to his car. It's easy stuff. A rolled C note. And C may stand for more than century in this case. Something else. Similar. Try something similar. White powder inside a rolled bill. Gee, I wonder what this substance might be.
Well, I never thought our perp flew up to loosen that light. Now we know how he or she made the climb. What's up? Amplified and graphed that DNA, scanned it into the computer already. Go for it. Scan that print, and the computer's got it. I vote for cocaine, but even when it seems this obvious, we gotta verify on the computer. Prints in the computer. Hey, don't mention it. Microsilled impression. I'll send that over to the microscope. Money rolling in. Pre-rolled this time. The evidence tells a story at odds with Nikki's own. We have her prints on the cash, and we have them on the drug package, too. No great leap to say that she's a likely dealer or user. Or both. Enrique's hands weren't just in the till. They're all over the DJ booth ladder, too. I don't think there's a match in that set. And we have a winner. Cocaine it is. What do you need? Nikki Winters denies any drug use, much less dealing. And yet her prints are turning up all over a hundred dollar bill rolled up with cocaine filling. Let's talk to her and clear up this little inconsistency. Nikki, your fingerprints are on a rolled up C-note with cocaine residue and on a big bag of coke found in Enrique's car. Enrique says the drugs are yours, and Ron indicates you have a long, sad history with drugs. What do you have to say? Just say no? Okay. Okay, the coke in the car was mine, and I probably did handle that C-note, but it was all Jack's idea. Jack offered me a quarter of the profits from both Fate and Whiskey Stop. Said I deserved it for all my hard work I put in, you know? All I had to do was help frame Ron for drug trafficking, and I'd be a wealthy woman. Who says I have? I turned Jack down. I wasn't going to help railroad some poor guy into jail just so I could feather my own nest. What kind of girl do you take me for? That's why Jack fired me. So you know what I did? I went to Ron, and I told him everything. I think so. I'm pretty sure that Jack made the same offer to Sanchez as to me. About putting the finger on Ron? Jack said he did, anyway. 
That's all we need here, for now. Can't help you on that one. 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 Yeah, let's have another chat with him. He said he put me in for 25% of everything from both bars. Not a lowball offer by any means. So that's why, you know, the drugs. That's why they were in my car. Nikki and me, we talked it over and she said, man, she didn't want nothing to do with Jack's plan. Me, I was still thinking it over, so I, like, held on to the snow, you know? But I didn't go through with it. That you gotta believe. Look, my judgment was bad. I'm the first to admit it. I told Jack yes, and he gave me the drugs to plant, all right? Only I couldn't sleep that night. My stomach was all screwed up. Kept thinking about the deal. And the next day, I tell Jack, hey man, I'm out, O-U-T. But before I get a chance to give the bag of coke back to him, he gets himself killed. Which is why you found a stash in my car. See, I was bringing the junk back to Jack. He didn't go off on me or anything. I mean, I wasn't his favorite dude in the world at that moment. But he was cool, basically cool. Just says, okay. I'll take care of things myself. All I asked was to keep my mouth shut. That's all we need here, for now. Hey man, I'm up for helping. What do you want to know about that? How many times I gotta tell you? Any work done around here, I done it and I don't wear gloves. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Don't know nothing about that, bro. Jack hit up both Enrique and Nikki to help blackmail his partner, Ron. And Nikki told Ron about the plan. Murder motives don't come much more clear-cut than that. Let's bring our brewmeister in. Ah, Mr. Speedle, isn't it? Nice to see you again. Is, uh, this your new partner? You may not know me, though you've no doubt heard of me. Donnie Bronson? If the shoe don't fit, you must acquit. Defender of the innocent? I can say this humbly, because I've never lost a case. Always a first time, Mr. Bronson. I assume you're here representing a client? That's right. Ron Preston. I'll just sit in and make sure everything is by the book. Not that you CSIs would ever take advantage of a suspect by talking without a lawyer present. I'm sure that never happens. Not under the watchful eye of that great straight shooter, Horatio Kane. We just have a few questions for Mr. Preston. Ron, Nikki Winters tells us that you are aware that your late partner was planning to frame you on drug charges. But you didn't share that with us. Now, didn't that strike you as pertinent? Not really. I knew about the scheme. Nikki told me, yeah, but with Jack dead, it was past history. Moot point. Why bring it up? Ron, you're not required by law to answer any of these questions. Actually, I recommend you don't. My attorney's advice. I don't wish to answer any of your questions at this time. My client has already cooperated above and beyond his civic duty over the course of this investigation. If you want more information from him, you'll have to convince me of its appropriateness first. Fine. We'll be serving a warrant to search the downstairs brewery at the whiskey stop and let the evidence do the talking. Sorry. Nothing else for you now. So Ron admits knowing Jack was planning to frame him for drug trafficking and Nikki heard the two partners arguing heatedly on the night Jack was murdered. 
Take a warren to the brewery and see what else you can find. Is that something down at the bottom of the vat? Wonder if we can drain this sucker. Looks like that emptied the vat. There goes the experimental brew. Yes? That's in the image enhancement and microscopy equipment. Where else? pair of locking pliers with some pretty unique details on the clamping surface. Enough for me to match them to other marks. The locking pliers matching the marks on the bolts? You've achieved perfection. It matches the striations. A Bavarian lager. This beer would have had a very distinctive flavor. I bet it would have been good. Can I help you out in this case? Let's invite him back. Sorry, nothing else for you now. Ask me about that if you like. Don't ask me, Nikki probably dropped it in there. Spoiling a perfectly good batch of beer in the process. Hey. What do you need? Yeah, let's have another chat with him. Why shouldn't he? We were partners in both clubs. He was always dropping by to see what kind of creation I was cooking up in the brewery. We don't need any more cooperation from you, Mr. Preston, to know what went down. You and Jack argued, it got out of hand, and it turned physical. Enraged, you smacked him in the head, killing him instantly. You probably didn't mean for it to happen, but afterwards, you did what you had to do. You carted his body to the disco, you laid him out on the floor, positioning beneath the mirrored ball, and then you tampered with the bolt so the light would crash into the corpse, and you hope disguise what really killed Jack. A very imaginative story, Mr. Speedle, but just a story. You CSIs have a big fat pound of air. See you in court, if you really want to bother. Don't let that slick lawyer get you down. You gave the DA's office plenty to work with. You did your job, now let the prosecutors do theirs. 